With an audience score of 91% on Rotten Tomatoes, Netflix's newest fantasy series comes in the form of a forbidden love between a vampire and a vampire hunter. Imagine a mixture of Twilight, Buffy the Vampire, and True Blood, and you've got this year's best teenage supernatural romance drama, First Kill. There's been a lot of keenness regarding Season 2. Season 1 left fans demanding an encore. So here's all the main details for First Kill Season 2. It's all in the air. Regarding the actual confirmation from the head office over at Netflix, it's still all in the air. Yet, there's some good news. The fact that First Kill just premiered on June 10th and fans are already talking about Season 2 is a true indicator. So far, reviews are up. And why wouldn't it be? The series has become a hit among the vampire drama genre with a unique LGBTQ foundation to top. It's one of the most intriguing shows as it follows the dramatic love throes of William Shakespeare's classic Romeo and Juliet. First Kill brings the classic narrative of love sprouting through the harshest of family feuds. And in this case of First Kill, we have a vampire family raising a legacy vampire who needs her first kill. And on the other hand, there's a dynasty of well-trained vampire hunters who are also bringing up a teenage daughter mutually awaiting to get her first kill of a vampire and join the ranks of her family crest. This is the story of two different worlds destined to be rivals, but forced into peace or destruction. It's adding up to be today's best forbidden love story. This supernatural-themed show tells the story of ill-fated lovers Juliet and Calliope. Juliet from a vampire family from ancient blood and Calliope, a young lady from a dynasty of monster hunters. They are both tasked with killing one from the opposing clan. But in the vitriol of homicide, love bloomed. Yes, it's true. Netflix is a business, and they can only invest in profitable projects. That means they're only going to renew series that reign in an outstanding performance. We're confident First Kill will rise to the occasion and be renewed. When Season 2 does get confirmation to start production, there's a great chance that it will be released sometime in June of 2023. Here's the First Kill cast. Since profits no longer walk the earth, it's impossible to know specifics of the cast of Season 2. However, we can follow indicators. Therefore, we can expect to see most of the actors return to reprise their roles for the show. After all, they've already been the blood and bones of the original. That means we can surely expect to see Sarah Catherine Hook return as Juliet, and Amani Lewis to return as her vampire huntress lover, Calliope. Without them, fans could retreat from the whole series altogether. Aside from her major role in First Kill, Sarah Catherine Hook is known for her role in other movies and series like The Conjuring 3, Law & Order SVU, Living in Harmony Soda Stream, American Crime Story, Monsterland, and The Valley. Amani Lewis also has a few significant credits in her resume. First Kill may be Amani's first lead role, but she starred in The Get Down released in 2017, Star in 2018, 8th Grade released the same year, and 2020's Hightown. Fans have also been outspoken about the return of Gracie Dezeni as Eleanor, Dylan McNamara as Oliver, and Aubin Wise as Talia. And on that note, the entire entourage is welcome back to the screen including Elizabeth Mitchell as Margot, Jason Robert Moore as Jack, Will Swenson as Sebastian, and Dominic Goodman as Apollo. For the third string, People have voiced that it'll be good to also see Walnut Marie Santiago as Carmen and Jonas Dylan Allen return as Ben Wheeler. So what kind of plot could Season 2 entail? A quick recap is necessary to answer that question, along with a spoiler alert. So consider yourself warned. In the eighth and final episode of the series, Cal's brothers end up attacking Eleanor after an intense interrogation. The crafty woman is able to make a quick, evasive maneuver, allowing her to get the upper hand over Apollo's driving blow. This sends the stake deep into the abdomen of Theo. As he bleeds out, Eleanor wipes Apollo's memory and flees. When Cal and Juliet show up after the nick of time, Theo is on heaven's door. Then, in the final moments of the episode, Cal and Apollo hightail it out, while Juliet, who stayed behind to clean up the scene, becomes the last person to console Theo as his lights go out. But in a startle, Theo suddenly comes to and begs Juliet for mercy. She attempts to lay him to rest in the honorable way by draining him, but that gesture of dignity ends up backfiring. Theo becomes a vampire, the very thing that he had trained his entire life to hate and hunt. 
it turns the table on the Burns family, resulting in the beginnings of a civil war. Sarah Catherine Hook told The Wrap in an interview, I have chills just thinking about it. I teared up. Episode 8 is just so emo. It makes me really, like, want to cry to sleep all the time. But I mean, I'm really excited, honestly, to see him be a vampire, but also, he might still be a monster hunter. He might be like, hey, I've gotten even cooler powers now. I can really do some cool stuff with this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really sure what the plan is for Theo in that sense. I don't think his Monster Hunter days are over, though. I can see that happening. Hook went on to explain that she hopes to see a potential team-up between Theo and Juliet. After all, Juliet has some resentment or growing distaste for her own kind. Well, she also has an innate drive to do some good in the world. One memorable remark from Hook about that Juliet and Theo team-up where she simply said it would definitely be badass. It seems most fans can only concur. But there's a big dilemma to that potential Juliet-Theo badass team. Turning your girlfriend's monster-hunting brother into a half-legacy vampire is not only crossing the line, it's a violation of a whole new level. So of course, by the end of the finale, Cal is more serious about fulfilling the deed on that first kill than she's ever been. Season 2 can answer the question on, will Cal actually commit to complete that very first kill? Be sure to comment on that down below. As for Hook, she was quoted saying, I think Cal is probably going to try her very best to be the ultimate monster hunter, and I think she is going to try to kill Juliet. I think she's going to try to kill Juliet a few times, and I think Juliet is going to fight her too. I'm really kind of hoping for like, you know, when it's a fighter and then it kind of gets a little sexy and you're like, ah, but I'm still attracted to you, you know? Hook went on to exclaim how she would like to see Juliet gravitate to her scarier side during the breakup. It's been a common theme with Hook. She'd like to see a badass Juliet. Here's more inside plot info for Season 2. According to higher-ups behind the scenes of First Kill, the second season should still draw inspiration from the V.E. Schwab short story, which first appeared in the anthology Vampires Never Get Old, Tales with Fresh Bite. Schwab may also still write for the series along with other writers who developed the first season, such as Bryce A. Hart, Stephanie McFarlane, and Itolomi Ohikuar. It was also reported that the directors of First Kill Season 1 will more than likely have their contracts renewed to direct more episodes in Season 2. Eric LaSalle, Amanda Tapping, and Jet Wilkinson are the most popular among the directors set to continue directing in Season 2. As for more on the plot, this horror thriller saw Season 1 come with a pounding heartbreak. The heart-stabbing breakup of Cal and Juliet shows both characters in pain and suffering from the decision they made. No reconciliation happened between the lovers, and neither one seemed keen to be the bigger person, initiate a truce, and attempt to make up, especially since they both said some really hurtful things. Outside of the Cal and Juliet squabble, we see their families resolve conflict on their own. Talia helped Theo escape from Apollo and Jack, but Burns begrudgingly had to turn Theo over to Oliver. Now it seems that Oliver is being set up to be the major threat, or main villain in Season 2. If you have yet to binge watch First Kill, don't worry about it. Take your time. The series has just aired, and chances are, fans will have to wait until next summer to catch season two. But so far, so good. Chances are major for Netflix to soon announce the production of First Kill season two.